So this is a continuation of a previous demo I did. It's the same application running on iPad. So we start with a springboard. You can see that it behaves the same in terms of animation and showing the data. And I'll point out some things that are going to be a little different when you're running on iPad. For example, there are no scroll bars. So if your page is too big, you actually get to scroll using a flow layout. You can still pick up um, and filter a table. So get some data in here for a query. But if you notice, the table now uses pagination instead of scrolls. So you have this uh, next previous set of records at the bottom of the table. This is done automatically for you. The rest of the table basically behaves the same. So you can move columns around and you can resize them and you can um, perform sorts. And filtering everything else is regularly done. Um, again, the main thing here is using pagination, which the table does automatically for you when you're accessing the application from a tablet. Scroll bar and splitter still behaves the same. You can maximize it to the top. And you have the map. If you click and hold, you get the pop-up on things. Okay. So this is handling the case where you don't have a mouse and we want to enable you to still do those type of things. Drilling works the same, and even drag and drop works the same when running on the tablet. So the next part of the page is using the hierarchy viewer, which on my laptop was displaying in flash. Over here it's actually displaying using HTML5 on the iPad. And you can see it functions the same. One thing that we do support here is a uh, support for finger gestures. So here's, for example, how you do swipe to s uh, change the card that you're showing there, okay. like that. And um, you can still drill down, drill up, those do, do those operations. On the top right side, you'll see this icon, which allows you to actually enlarge the screen and occupy the full space. Again, very useful when you're on a tablet. Again, added automatically for you can enlarge and resize it back to the original size. Let's look at this page which uses the list component. So again you have the list of cities. You can click on the list or on a city and expand it. Okay. And again notice uh, there are many records. There's no scroll bar. You scroll with your finger using swipe operations. Okay. And you can load more and continue scrolling down or scrolling up like that. Then you can select a city, uh, select a house, click on it and actually get more details in a little pop-up window like that. So pop-ups still work on iPads without any problems. Timeline, another component that uses HTML5 to provide us with a very rich visual representation. So as you can see, same application works perfectly fine on an iPad. 